second. Hi guys, welcome back to 65th part of the Arduino tutorials. In my previous videos, we have learned the basics of RC522 RFID module and also we made RFID based door lock project. So before watching this video, it will be better if you go through the previous two videos, I'll leave the link in the description box. In today's video, we'll be making one more project which is RFID based car parking system which checks for the authorized card to open the gate and also uses IR sensors at the entry and exit to display the number of slots left in real time. Starting with the components we required for this project an Arduino board, RC522 RFID reader along with tag and card. 16 cross 2 LCD module having I2C interface, SG90 micro servo motor. The 5 volt supply from the Arduino will be not sufficient for this motor. As an external 5 volt supply for this motor, I'll be using this single 18650 cell. If you don't have, you can also use a waste USB cable along with adapter or power bank. Next, we need a buzzer module, two IR sensor modules, breadboard and some jumper wires. I purchased all these project components from flyrobo.in. They have very huge collection of components and the prices are also reasonable compared to other platforms. Along with Arduino components, there are also other categories. So this single platform will help you to get all the required materials for your projects. Make sure you explore their products. I'll leave the link in the description box. Moving on to the connections, the 3.3 volts and ground of the module goes to Arduino 3.3 volts and ground. SDA and SCK pins goes to Arduino digital pins 10 and 13. MOSI and MISO pins goes to Arduino digital pins 11 and 12 and the reset pin goes to digital pin 9. Next I'll take the 5 volts and ground from the Arduino board common onto the breadboard since we need it for multiple components. So this line will be positive 5 volts and this will be ground. In the LCD module, the VCC and ground goes to common 5 volts and ground on the breadboard. SDA and SCL pin goes to Arduino analog pins A4 and A5. The VCC and ground of the buzzer module goes to common 5 volts and ground on the breadboard. The signal pin goes to digital pin 3. For the IR sensors, the VCC and ground of both goes to common 5 volts and ground on the breadboard. The output pin of the first sensor goes to Arduino digital pin 4, and the output pin of the second sensor to Arduino digital pin 5. For the servo motor, the VCC and ground which is red and brown wires goes directly to external 5 volt supply and the signal pin which is orange one goes to Arduino digital pin 6. 
Additionally, we have to connect the ground of the servo motor, which is brown, to common Arduino ground on the breadboard. That's all the connections. If you have any doubts, you can refer to the circuit link in the description box. So moving further, for proper demonstration, I'll place all these components on this wooden board and make some craft work. I have placed all the components this way. Here is a RFID scanner. There is LCD board to display the information. And we need one IR sensor module to detect the entry. Next, there is a servo motor gate. Four parking slots, which can be increased or decreased. Second IR sensor to detect the exit. Buzzer and Arduino board. Now I'll connect the Arduino to the computer and start with the programming. So this is the code from my previous project which is RFID door lock. In this code we are checking for the RFID cards and once it's detected we are comparing the UID of the card. If UID is matching, we are printing some information on the LCD module and controlling the relay to unlock the solenoid. Even for today's project, the code flow almost remains same. So additionally, we need to add IR sensors to increment and decrement the slots count. For better understanding of the code, I would request you to watch our previous two tutorials. One is on the basics and other one on the door lock project. I have used the same code and modified few things for parking system. So in this, apart from RFID module and LCD, I have added one more library for servo control. And in the declaration, two pins are added newly for IR entry and IR exit connected to 4 and 5. Also, I have some variable declarations required for the code. In this, you have to focus on this one, which is the total slots. I'll be starting with four, but this you can increase or decrease based on your project requirements. And it can be up to nine. In the setup function, we have init calls for RFID module, LCD and servo. So servo is attached to digital pin 6, which is also a PWM pin. So in the loop, the logic with respect to RFID card will remain same, which is reading the card. And once the card is detected, we are extracting the UID bytes and printing it on the serial monitor. So additionally, we are checking if IR sensor is detected. This is just to check if car is present at the entry gate and the slots are not full. In this case, if the UID is matching, then we are printing access granted on the LCD module, activating the buzzer with single beep. And to open the gate, I'll be moving the servo shaft from 90 degree to zero. So additionally, total slots will be decremented by one. And after waiting for 5 seconds, the servo motor again goes to the close position, which is 90 degree. So this is where we have some difference in the code compared to the previous project. So if UID is not matching, in the else case, we are printing access denied on the LCD module and activating the buzzer with two beeps. When you are using this code, make sure you replace the UID with your card. 
and to give access to multiple cards you can use logical or and keep adding the uids like this and for the exit gate we have one more ir sensor if the second ir sensor is detected we have to increment the slots left by one i'll upload this code and show the results Once the code is uploaded, I'll remove the USB from the computer and connect to the power bank. Once I power on, it shows RFID car parking, then shows the number of slots left, which is 4 out of 4. We cannot directly scan for the cards. Always there should be a car present in front of the IR sensor near the entry. For wrong card, it shows access denied and for authorized card we get access granted and servo motor opens the gate immediately the slots left gets updated which is 3 out of 4 when second car enters the slots left update with 2 out of 4 When all 4 slots are filled, it shows 0 out of 4 and also we get the message slots full. At this point of time, if new card tries to enter, the RFID will not accept any card. Now if the car exits from the parking slot, the counts update to 1 out of 4. Similarly, if the second car exits, we get 2 out of 4. When there are slots available, new car can take the entry. Everything is working as expected. That's all about RFID car parking system project. If you have any doubts, let me know in the comment section below and for code and circuit, visit the link in the description box. We will be coming up with more interesting projects. So make sure you subscribe and follow us on Instagram for regular updates. Thank you for watching. We will be back in the next one.